Hi there, so today we're going to show you how to easily pull a property profile using PCT or Title Pro 247, should we say. So once you log in, you're going to go ahead and you're going to see a screen like this. All you need to do is go ahead and start entering the actual physical street address. So I'm going to go ahead and use this street. And then it's very, very important that you have to go ahead and choose what county and city it's in. So this one is Project Hukumanga. As you can see, you'll get some autofill features, which will definitely help you um, finding the correct city. So we go ahead and we hit search. Okay, it's going to go ahead and it's going to pull up a map. Okay, and it's going to go ahead and try to locate the property that you did. So it found our property. Now, what's really cool about it is if you see all of these that are highlighted, not necessarily highlighted, but it's surrounded by a white box, each of those are a property as well. So in case you wanted to find the property across the street, you can go ahead and you can click on it and it'll go ahead and give you the information and also allow you to change it so you can that become your subject property and you can go ahead and run a profile on it. But for this um, example, we're going to stick with the one that we found. Now, with that said, on the left-hand side is what we kind of really um, build our profile and add what we like into it. So, with that said, you have kind of two tabs of what we're able to offer you as a title company and other um, features that you can add to the profile that um, are uh, considered premium features and do cost um, a little bit of money. With that said, here for a property profile, you have cover sheet options, whether you want to include a cover sheet, um, property details, comparables, uh, whether you want the quick comps, the detail comps, transaction history, right? And what's really cool here is you can actually save it as a favorite, right? So if you go ahead and you highlight it, it will save it. And then moving forward, all the same uh, presets that you've saved will already be checked. So again, for the most part, yours will look identical to mine, except with a few things such as property tax report and maybe even document retrieval. So once you select the actual features that you want, you just hit the get now button. Okay. So it's going to go ahead and it's going to prepare the property profile report for you. Okay. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to bring it for us up onto the screen just like we see here, right? It'll give us all of the information that we requested in our left-hand side menu. And then if we wanted to go ahead and email this or convert it to a PDF, we can just go ahead and click this button, okay? And now it's officially a PDF that we can just basically right-click and save onto our computer and, you know, print it or attach it as an email. Um, so that, ladies and gentlemen, is how easy it is to generate a property profile. Thank you.